right, guys. So this video, it's a little dated. So I'll be honest. Um, doing the editing now. Today's March 2nd, 2017. Uh, but this video I filmed back in 2013. So again, I know I'm way overdue for getting you guys this video. Almost four years. <laughs> um, I filmed this back in June. Um, just looking at my project here. Uh, back in June of 2013. So it's been a long time. Anyway, just to recap real quick, this video um, is of me removing the radiator uh, because I punched a hole in it with a 3 8 inch ratchet when I went to close it um, just during the engine removal process. So I had to pull it off, bring it to a shop, have them patch it. So they just did a, a kind of a solder repair. It's a temporary fix. I'll have to have it record anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh, just to have it patched, I just needed to get it you know, up and running and driving. So... Uh, this is just the removal of it and then um, the reinstallation of it. I don't really talk much in the reinstall process, uh, but this is what it is. Thanks, guys. All right, back at the bus. Uh, what I'm going to work on today is taking off the radiator. Um, so I've got to, I've loosened up the bolts already. I did that uh, a couple weeks back just to make sure I can get them loose. Um, I have to get, drain, the, drain the coolant. Um, so I've got a huge 25 gallon tub to drain the coolant into. Um, once that's done, disconnect an airline and the uh, the flexible radiator lines and then that will get pulled off and set under the trailer. The date today too by the way it's June 8th uh, it's about 80 some degrees outside today so and in my earlier videos it was super cold and now we're we're in the you know mid mid 80s today so anyway enjoy. Got the coolant draining, so we're starting with that. Let me show you where it's draining from. There is a drain uh, plug. Uh, mine seems to be close to seized up. It's a square bolt. Um, I'll show you where that's at. Um, mine also, I could get a wrench on one side, um, but once I turned it 25, or excuse me, once I turned it um, 45 degrees, um, I couldn't get the wrench back on it because somebody had, had bent one of the corners. So I'll show you that quick. Okay, so currently we got the coolant draining out there. You can kind of see that going. Um, there it is, kind of just running out of the lower radiator tube. Um, this square bolt right there, that's the actual drain plug. I'm gonna turn that a little ways. On this corner right there is actually where um, the corner stripped just a little bit. So we're gonna drain stuff into here. Uh, it needs just a generic, I think um, uh, a little over, a, it's like six, seven, I think it's a seven quart uh, oil drain pan for a, for a car. So I'm just gonna do this slowly. I've got the lid for the 25 gallon tub uh, underneath of it. So when I pull that to empty it, I'm not, I'm not gonna lose really anything. Uh, and I'm gonna dump everything in here, which I've cleaned out, that's the tub. Hopefully that'll be enough. Uh, if not, I'll just let the extra, I guess, drain out. So I'll keep you posted.
have the upper and lower radiator lines off. I just have to disconnect an air line and then I can finish with the bolts and pull it off. So we're making progress. I've also sealed off um, the lower hose, which the lower hose is pulled off the radiator. The upper hose is still on the radiator. It's a bit tight. Um, I'm going to have the radiator shop pull that off. Um, and then the upper, uh, where the hose connects to on the upper, on the engine, I also have closed off. So I just took uh, plastic bags or plastic basically, put it around it and taped around just so no critters can get in there or more dust gets in there to ruin it. Okay, so as you can see, um, I got ratchet straps kind of holding up uh, the radiator. Um, so I'm going to use the cherry picker to lift it up off the cradle once I get the four bolts off. Radiator's off, it's on the trailer. Um, now I'm just gonna pack it up and uh, I don't.
All right, guys, that's it for this video. I just want to say thanks for watching. Um, feel free to subscribe if you want to. So I'm going to post a channel update here shortly. Uh, but I just wanted to say in this video, feel free to subscribe. So it's been a while since I've posted anything, but I've got some updates coming for you and an explanation. Um, channel's not dead. Project's not dead. I still got the bus. There's something coming up, and there's a hint for it in this video uh, that I'm going to talk about. So feel free to subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.